What's up everybody? In this video, I am going to tell you the speed of the most popular motors today, the new Gen 4 Levos, the DJI motor, the Bosch CX-5. Compare them with each other head to head. Give you some audio as well so you know exactly how they sound. All right, exciting time because we got some new motors. We have the Specialized Gen 4 S-Works 100 11 newton meters to torque and they have a different version of that motor with firmware they said it's on the chipset to neuter it to or restrict or plate it to 101 newton meters to torque so kind of unfortunate because most people will be getting this motor it is only the s-works 13,500. so what we'll do is a lot of people are wondering you know what what difference does this make you know you know how much faster is it so I have the testing. I'm gonna compare it to the DJI motor. We have an illegal bike here in the United States. It's not allowed yet, but hey, it's being sold around the rest of the world. So we have a DJI motor. Well, I'll tell you the speed of that. And also that Bosch CX-5 motor. It's about the same speed as the CX-4, uh, but it is quiet, uh, more quiet going up and quiet downhill. All these motors have no rattle anymore, by the way. So this Bosch CX-5, we, will show you that motor as well and compare it. Uh, and the interesting thing about the CX-5 is they say in July, sometime in July, we will get a firmware update where we can crank it up to 11. 85 newton meters will become 100 newton meters, but it will get more watts. And you know, if you hang on till the end, I'll explain the difference between torque, newton meters, and power, which is watts. Also, I'm gonna compare uh, this data that I give you to a Gen 3 Levo, so you know exactly how much upgrade you'll get from your Gen 3 Levo, and to uh, a regular mountain bike, a blur cross-country bike with the same power. And the key to all my testing is the power, the rider is regulated, the trail is regulated, and the power that I put out is regulated by a power meter. Without these normalizations, any comparison uh, really does not hold any water you know it was like oh my buddy did this yeah your buddy weighs different than you that or you felt different that day so all right on with the testing right a brief description of the course is it is a fire road climb one mile long with 500 feet of elevation gain about five percent of pitch maybe a little higher in some segments and i try to hit the same lines every time have a even power output of 200 watts and the key is at the end of the climb that the average power output should be 200 watts. That way I have a basis of okay, comparison. Right. I put all bikes in turbo mode, uh, the full boost that they can allow fully charged. And I also, and at some point I'll speed it up just so you're not waiting, uh, looking at nothing. And uh, I'll, I'll give you some audio at the exact same segment so you will hear how these motors sound at full effort. So this particular Levo is the aluminum but with the 101 newton meters of torque and uh, let me keep quiet for a second so you can hear the motor right here in this critical segment. So right there is the sound and it is very quiet and uh, it's full turbo so this is the loudest you'll hear this motor. On single track it's, it feels a little bit louder but you can kind of sense it with the crunching of the tires on the ground and also when, when I shift you hear how loud those shifts are so uh, that's kind of the uh, relative comparison of the sound. So here we go, we'll wrap it up at our finish line right there by the tanks. The time is four minutes and 28 seconds with a speed of 13 miles an hour. So pretty nice smooth ride here. All right, on to the second test and 
This is the specialized Gen 4 Levo S works with a 111 newton meters of torque. Uh, it also has more watts at 720 watts as opposed to 666 watts and it feels quite similar to the lower cost Levo. This model is 13,500 and this S-Works motor is only available uh, on this mo model. So let me speed it up and uh, let you hear the motor. Alright, there is the test of the S-Works Levo 111 Newton Music Torque. Finishes in a time of 4 minutes and 12 seconds, 14.6 miles an hour, and it is a very supportive motor. It feels good. Uh, yeah, even, even with a heavy bike, it makes it feel light. Alright, the next test is with the Amflow PL Carbon with the 105 newton meter DJI motor. This is a very special motor because it's small, light, small battery, and it is very powerful. 105 newton yeah. meter, but it claims 800 watts and it can actually be boosted to 1,000 watts. So, and it's true to form. It's as strong as they claim, and we believe it's actually stronger than the spec sheet that they, they do measure on the wheels. So, it has a boost mode. Uh, but we didn't really use it because it didn't really help save about five seconds on this hill because I, I don't think it's steep enough so more of a gimmick really it's just this motor is just so powerful but let me have you hear the motor right here on the same side Alright, it finished it in 346 and that is a crazy time because you know this is a 500 foot climb and a mile long so to climb that fast is crazy. 15.5 miles per hour is the, the rate of speed uh, and this bike we normalized 46 pounds when we got it but we put real tires and we got it to 49 pounds for this test. Okay, the uh, last bike we'll show you in the field is the Santa Cruz Bullet 2025 with the Bosch CX-5 motor. It has 85 newton meters and this bike weighs about 50 pounds. Uh, it has the same tires as a guy and the HR. And, uh, it's a pretty cool bike, a lot of travel. And the promise of this motor is that it will get upgraded to 100 newton meters of torque and up to 750 watts so we shall see but basically we're finding that this is the latest motor that everyone uses Bosch CX-5 and it, it's good you know, it's quiet uphill no rattle downhill and uh, some very good software on this guy and we're using full turbo as well but uh, I'll let you enjoy the noise of the motor right here All right, hope you enjoyed that bullet and the motor sound. Very supportive motor. The, you know, it's quieter now than before and you can kind of hear it wind up when when you get uh, the RPMs up. Um, 
but no more rattle on this motor on the downhills so pretty uh, popular and very good option for most manufacturers okay I have the data for you guys the winner first place is the DJI and flow bike with a time of 3 minutes and 46 seconds. It is a devastating time because this is a short test. You know, it uh, the differences might be 30 seconds or whatnot, but if you multiply that to a real hill, like a 2,000 foot hill, your buddy will be waiting for you at the top of the hill for 2 minutes or more. So 3 minutes 46 and then second place goes to the Levo S-Works right here 4 minutes and 12 seconds and i did ask specialized hey why is the dji faster than you guys when it has less torque than than your 111 105 versus 111 and they said hey um uh, the uh, top speed is determined by the wattage and uh, this is only 720 watts and their motor is 800 watts and, uh, and the reason is they hold their torque at a higher RPM, you know, they sustained it over a higher RPM. I think the other reason too is the DJI motor is overpowered to the spec. I think they're measuring at the wheels and all these guys are measuring at the crank. So, you know, if you're a horsepower guy, uh, you know, there's, there's a big kind of discount uh, when you uh, measure at the crank. All right, third place goes to this guy right here. And it's really cool because this Levo, you can have it for, this is the 7300 version. You can have it for 5,800 bucks, same motor. And it finished in four minutes and 28 seconds. So a little uh, uh, restrictor plate on this guy. And people were asking me, hey, why they do that? And uh, is it a good idea? It's not a great idea because in, you know, Bosch is upgrading their, their power. DJI is so powerful and they're kind of, uh, putting down the, the rest of their levos, like making them less competitive. But I don't think they can do it with a firmware upgrade because they said the coding for that torque limit is in the chipset, chipset hardware. Last bike that I tested is the Santa Cruz Bullet with the Bosch CX-5 motor, the latest, latest, and it finished in a time of four minutes and 50 seconds. It's the same as your Bay Rise and the RE Tim Peak that I have, so all CX-5. And this motor will get an upgrade in July to 85 to 100 newton meters, and more importantly, 600 watts to something like 750 watts. I anticipate that the CX-5 firmware upgraded model is gonna beat the uh, S-Works Levo motor four minutes, 12 seconds. Maybe it'll be like in the low fours, but it's not gonna be anywhere near that uh, DJI M-Flow motor. So there you go. Uh, for reference, uh, using a mid-powered bike, the Bosch SX or the Fatsuwa, those finish in about six minutes, five minutes, 50 seconds. So about a minute slower. And if you use a cross-country bike, uh, 16 minutes, 43 seconds. So the exact same power, the exact same rider, uh, you know, uh, doing the same climb, 16 minutes and 43 seconds. And with the same effort when I do my S-Works, four minutes. So there's your kind of comparison for 16. Man, that's four times faster. Hmm. You could do your rides four times faster in full turbo. Anyway, hope that is helpful to you, my friends. Uh, if you want this uh, stand right here, because you can maintain your bike and wash it and all that. Uh, I have a link in the description and a coupon code, a little expensive, but it is an American product, high quality by a motorcycle company, Enduro Engineering. So have a great summer. It's getting warm here in NorCal. Thanks a ton.